Well, it is said that the Minnesota State Fair is rich with tradition, and one of those traditions finds itself at the heart of the fair. Our Josh Peterson tonight introduces us to some local 4-H members as they prepare to compete at the great Minnesota get-together. Once a year in the shadow of the big city, farm life takes center stage in the heart of the Twin Cities at the Minnesota State Fair. In the busy metropolis known as the fairgrounds, you can find animals of all kinds walking amongst fair revelers, all courtesy of the 4-H program. 4-H is huge. They're the core of our fair, or livestock is the core of our fair, so it's very important to have them here and, you know, kind of continue that tradition of agriculture. You can find everything Minnesota has to offer right here at the State Fair, where the big city comes face to face with country life. For 4-H members that move on from their local county fairs to the State Fair, it's a huge honor. For some, it's all about the learning experience. You always want to make be better than your uh, than what you were last year, and so you're always it always it never stops. You're always looking for what you can do differently, how you can do better. It is not an easy task just to get to the State Fair. It requires a lot of time, energy, and hard work. Where to wash them, like when to wash them. I've been taking her up and down the long uh, road for a walk because she's used to going a mile and a half every day. At just about any time of the day, you will find 4-H members doing all the chores you would normally see them doing at home. Everything from grooming and walking their animals, all in preparation for the big competition. Uh, start out washing them, then you bring them in, blow them off, get them dry, and then you clip them. Just ask Laura Davis from Beltrami County, who has made four trips to the state fair and shows sheep each year and makes it a priority to get to the fair. The competition here is really like hard, so I get to it, and it's pretty like cool to be able to come down here and just to compete. And uh, it's really fun to meet all the new people. The thrill of educating the public about their animal is one of the many reasons why they enjoy showing at the state fair. Yeah, can I pet your cow? A lot of kids have never done it, so then I, I try to let them come in. And With competitions continuing throughout the fair, more 4-H members will make the special trip to compete for the Grand Champion Ribbon. In Falcon Heights at the Minnesota State Fair, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And Beltrami County 4-H'ers were awarded an exceptional award of achievement at the 2017 fair this year. The 31 youth, along with their four chaperones, earned first overall 4-H herdsmanship and Speaking Up for Animal Agriculture Consumer Education Activities Award. This accomplishment covers all species and all counties represented by 4-H during the livestock encampment. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.